and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some mono white angels. That's right. We're bringing back some mono white angels. This is um, just a shell that I have really en enjoyed playing since, really since Guilds of Ravnica. Um, just the angel shell with Resplendent, Shalai, and Lyra. We've played these three cards um, in a lot of different types of angel decks. Uh, kind of started with like Selesnya Angels and moved around to a lot of different colors. But this mono white version, um, I've enjoyed playing um, just uh, in, in the past. And I wanted to bring it back one more time before rotation. I don't think that this deck is is like amazing or anything like that. Has has its weaknesses, you know. Doesn't have a whole lot of card advantage and can't is uh, does a poor job of stopping combo decks, you know, like your Nexus decks and everything like that. But um, with today being the day that Rampaging Ferocidon has been unbanned in Standard on Arena, the first day that you've been able to play it, I was thinking that maybe we'll maybe we'd be facing more red decks than normal, and if that's the case, uh, maybe this would be a good day to. To play the angels again, uh, like this mono white angel deck again before um, rotation in a few weeks. All right, so a couple of things about the deck. We have, even though it's mono white, we have um, some Pell Groves and Temple Gardens. We have the green white lands to be able to activate Shalai. So that's why we have these green lands in here. Being being mono white allows us to play four Field of Ruin. So against that's our plan against the. Um, the Field of the Dead decks, we get to have four Field of Ruins in there. Hopefully that helps us out some. We got this Tamik against Nyssa. Um, Honor Guard, of course, against all the Elementals. Um, so there's a lot of good use for Honor Guard. We got three in the main. We got the fourth in the sideboard. We have a couple God's Willings to help protect our Angels. But what I've kind of found in these decks, I've, I've tried like four uh, God's Willings before, and they were often stuck in hand. Um, so we're just playing the two. Um, Playing History of Benali again, which we haven't in a long time. Legion's End has really made this card worse than what it was before. Um, but, you know, want to play this card again. It looks cool and everything. Really nice art. And want to get this one going again. Gideon's like our best threat against Esper. Ajani um, does a good job pumping up like Resplendent Angel, Shalai, like these cards like out of uh, burn range, but also, you know, getting back Tithe Taker or Honor Guard can be pretty important. And we got Noketra in here because this card's just really powerful. So yeah, that's our deck. We got Immortal Sons against Esper in the sideboard. Um, Ixalan's Binding is just a, a pretty good removal spell. Baffling End is also a really good removal spell against a lot of the aggro decks. So we, we have some enchantment removal in here. A um, whole bunch of Spy Glasses again to try to stop like esper or you know like the planeswalker heavy decks um bunch of de devout decrees for red so really i want to be facing red with having all these baffling ends devout decrees ixalan's bindings are awesome against red and then we have our angels at the top end of course if they have ferocid in play then we won't be gaining any life so got to be able to remove ferocid on from the battlefield but here we go we're going to play a league talked about maybe playing the deck in ranked but, but decided we're going to be playing a league here with our deck. <laughs> Thanks, 619. Thanks for the resub. And let's see if we can get to five wins before two losses. So far, I've been disappointed. We played 10 matches in ranked today, and I've played against Ferocidon zero times. Nobody's played a Ferocidon against me yet. So we're thinking maybe all the Ferocidons are. Maybe they're not in ranked. Maybe they're over in the league. So let's let's see if we get it, uh, find them over here. In ranked, all, we're playing against so much combo, and this deck is just not good against combo in the slightest. So that's why uh, we're um, we're switching it up. Combo. I'm talking about. You know, Kethis, Combo, and Nexus. Out of the ten out of the ten matches we played against two Kethis and four Nexus decks. So far.
Crixus. Well, Ixalan's Binding is good against Grixis. Not Grixis. Four color. Four color decks don't usually play a whole lot of basics. So we're going to test them. We get land destruction. We just get free sinkhole or strip mine. I guess, yeah. Free strip mine. <laughs> they had a basic. Boo. Another basic. All right. They got us. Is this like Niv Mizzet? I don't know what's going on. Wouldn't have been surprised if that got spell pierced with the treasure token. <laughs> opponent's playing commander. Yeah. Looks like opponent's playing commander. Oh, their cards. Yeah, they have uh, 236 more cards in their deck. This isn't your average zombie horse. Never hurt anyone. That's a, that's a couple. It's going to be difficult to mill out our opponent. You <laughs> can't lose if you play all the cards. <laughs> Bring him back, Tithe Taker. There's more work to do. There's more work to do. <laughs> Solid against Cat this game one. <laughs> Final Parting's awesome. Because, yeah, search your library for any two cards, put one in your hand, the other into your graveyard. <clears throat> when you're playing 250 cards, that's pretty valuable to go find any of them. Like, you, you can get anything, just search your collection. Search your collection for a card, put in your hand, and for another card to put in your graveyard. Literally have every single silver bullet there is. <laughs> Borderin says, I'll gift 10 subs if they play Tempest Gin. Moldratha, Sunbird's Invocation. Sorry, Black Panda, just watch watch the language, I know. It's exciting, though. Yeah, opponent's deck super spicy. Be strong. Yeah, no, I understand. This deck is something. Whoa, River's Rebuke. Let us march into battle and make new combat. Oh, that is not good against the Ixalan's binding deck. Enchantment removal. 
Oh, uh, River's Rebuke. Now I get to just play the Sunbird's Invocation from the... from the graveyard. Smelly, but effective. <laughs> Dude, I can't beat a Commander deck. My deck is way too slow for Commander. Hmm. Way too slow for Commander. Yeah, River's Rebuke got me real good. Death is enlightening. Begin your, you, begin your upkeep, draw a card. This card is cool. This is a good throwback Thursday card. Kumana's Awakening. Oh, Blast Zone. Good game. Okay. So they had a lot of targets to Devout Decree. Muldrotha, Liliana, Sunbird's Invocation. I definitely want Gideon. I definitely do not want Takali Honor Guard, and probably not Tithe Taker. Um, Spyglass. I mean, Cleansing Nova, destroy all artifacts and enchantments. But then if I'm playing... Well, Baffling, I can go. Yeah, there's another like 200 cards in their deck, right? So who knows what I'm actually sideboarding for. <clears throat> All right, Decree doesn't hit Invocation. It's I always think it's like black or red permanent, you know, like Celestial Purge. I think it's Celestial Purge, but it's not. And they have a... Yeah, because, I mean, they're playing 250 cards, so they can afford basics. So I don't have to worry about Field of Ruin. Yeah, I'd play Battle of Wits if it was in Standard. I've played Battle of Wits before. It's a fun deck to play, especially like on on arena. Like these things are, you know, in paper it's like impossible, but online and on arena, easy to do. So yeah, so they have 250 cards, which is the most. I think I think 250 is the most arena get, lets you play. Yeah, it was legal and standard. Yeah, I played it in standard. I did play it at F and M. That endured nothingness, like those two, like at F and M, like you, if you kill your opponent with it, then you take the card out, take your pen, and put a mark, a mark on it, so you can see how many times you killed your opponent with Battle of Wits. You just mark it down each time you win a game with it.
All right, down to five. I only I only played Battle Wits the one F and M, so I only had a, a couple of marks. I played Door to Nothingness a few times, and I was close. I don't remember if it was exact if it was double digits or not, but it was around there. Defend the weak at every opportunity. Your light will cleave the darkness. Manolith. Share in my light. <laughs> but yeah, my my opponent's playing commander. That looks pretty good. So this thing adds two mana, so taking it to slow them down. All right, game three. I'm gonna try Cleansing Nova instead of God's Willing, where Cleansing Nova can destroy all artifacts and enchantments. <laughs> this is bloody spicier than Jamaican food. <laughs> yeah, this is the spiciest of games here. Opponent is a, a hero, for sure. <laughs> hey, got a sideboard with your 250 card deck, for sure. No, right right now you can only play Brawl with the decks that they give you. It's just a an event where you can play the precons. No, a, you can only have 15 cards in your sideboard, so the opponent cannot side down to 60. They could start with 250, and I, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the case. Um, they could. They could just start with 250, start with everything, and have zero card sideboard, and then side down to 235, depending on what cards. Uh, what cards they they don't like, you know, just take out like 15 cards they don't need, just but just have like your whole side, you know, so be, basically have access to your sideboard and everything game one, and just have access to everything, but then specific cards you don't need, you can side out 15 of them. That's that's actually what a friend of mine's done in, in uh, Battle of Wits in Modern. That was their strategy. All right, we got a curve. Oh no, we're playing against Nexus. They sided it into just Nexus. Huh. It's a weird card to put in your Nexus deck.
History of Benalia. Such a cool animation with the sagas there. I really like that saga animation. That was really well done. So history press like hits harder. Bless us in our righteous cause. I believe in you, friend. History Benalia hits harder, but if I would have played Gideon, we would you know would have been able to minus six a turn or like you can minus six a turn earlier to get rid of like a mana rock. I will protect the virtue of the Oh no, my opponent said good game, so I'm saying good game back, but they're not Behold, they're not out of this. This game is definitely not over. Probably not over. <laughs> I could take a hit or two. Not over ish. I will lend you my strength. Did they just block the indestructible one? Whoops. <laughs> yep, oops. Crucible! Man, opponent's deck is really sweet. Unfortunately, we're doing the thing where we play creatures and attack. Be wary of the ground and on. so they're dying, but... And it is really, they really are playing like Commander. One with the machine, draw cards equal to the highest CMC of artifacts you control. So draw three cards. Opponents living their best life over there. I approve. I bet that I bet that text. Um, oh yeah, y'all y'all didn't want me to attack at all. I bet uh, I bet that deck like I bet that deck's a lot of fun to play because just all your games are different. You never have like the same opener twice. Yeah, that is what magic is all about. Man, where are the Ferocidon decks, though? Oh, yeah. If we did have friends list, like everybody watching here would, would be adding that person as a friend. My poor Gideon. Mono black control. Let us begin. True goodness can never be corrupted. But this is what I've talked about with 
Um, God's willing before. Please stop. I don't really want to field a rune with the dread presence in play. Some solutions must be built. Do not pity me. I mean, I should attack first. It's possible they didn't see that. I should just attack first. Wait, so those are all... Magic cards? So there's... Monkey minus, a monkey dash, monkey cage, monkey, 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 tainted monkey, tree monkey, and zodiac monkey. We're definitely sideboarding out baffling ends. Maybe the God's Willings as well. One man ashore from equipping that. Man, this is over, right? I like our chances after sideboarding though, devout get devout decrees and all these all these enchantment removal cards. Um just spy glasses are awesome, immortal sun's awesome. We have a lot of really good stuff here. 
Um, obviously, we don't need Baffling End. Don't really need Honor Guard, even though it stops Golos. Um, Tamik's just a flyer that can attack. Uh, a Johnny Immortal Sun isn't really that great of a combo. We take out God's Willing, a Johnny. I mean, Tithe Taker probably doesn't really matter that much either. Maybe I just take out Tithe Taker. Yeah, we're, they're mono black control, we're mono white control. Oh, get this other Gideon in here. Gideon's really good. Um, Gideon's still good with Immortal Sun, too. All right, looks good. You shouldn't be scared to go to the doctor if you if you think you have something wrong. Um, yeah, definitely just go get... Like, you want to have the most information and knowledge about if about yourself and you know if if there is something you know if you do have an illness or anything knowing is is a lot better yeah just like Zerf says knowing's better than not knowing um yeah don't don't be scared to go to the doctor that's like that was also that's also actually I was, I was reading about that the other day how doctors are one of the most lied to people like like so many people just lie to their doctor when like because they don't want to be judged or anything like you know like stuff like uh, telling their doctor you know like how much they drink or how sexually active they are or all you know all that kind of stuff that just lie to the lie to doctors like it's mostly like men lying about how much they they drink or smoke and women lying about how sexually active they are cuz they don't want their doctors to be uh judgmental Well, I kept the two lander, needing to draw land, and I didn't. Di diet and exercise. That was the other one. I knew there was one more. I was trying to think. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, I exercise, you know, like a little more. Yeah. That's, yep, that's the other one. Diet and exercise for sure. There we go. Yeah, we, we need this shuffled up. I don't have any lands over here. We need need to get this shuffled up. Get some more lands. Uh, I guess it's better to play Gideon. Here to aid in the assault. I believe in you. So the, the Fen Lurker, of course, gets to attack the Gideon. <laughs> I've fought worse. If they if they had <clears throat> they had like cast down right then they didn't get to just cast down the resplendent angel that that turn that I played that yeah 
Yeah, so Stronghold doesn't actually add mana. Gotta have one more Swamp before Stronghold adds mana. Oh no! Don't shoot my angel. Bring it on. Yeah, we have dogs taking down angels. Your light will cleave the darkness. Yeah, the um, Knight of the Ebon Legion has an animation now. I think that's that's the main one that we've seen. As far as new animations. Yeah, it, ha it has an animation, like a, a red sword above it whenever you play it. It's very quick. I missed it like the first four or five times. And people in chat were saying it. <laughs> yeah, Doom Whisperer. Awesome card. Our life total's going down, down, like a merry-go-round. No, that's probably not the lyrics. Prepare for battle. I don't know of any video that shows all the special animations in Arena, if there is one. Wow, they just took that? They didn't just chump with, like, the Fenlurker? Put themselves down to three, where shall I? Can be lethal. That was a good hit. Just chump with the Chupacabra, if that's, like, your plan to get it back. Yeah, they, they could have chump blocked with Chupacabra last turn. They knew the top card because of Doom Whisper before blocks. Why didn't they block? Ugh. So they do have a, more creatures than I thought. Honor Guard. Would have been good against Fenlurker and Chupacabra. They have a bunch of cast downs, though. Would I rather have Honor Guard than Type Taker? Maybe. Maybe. We'll try that. <laughs> Gideon's too scary to block. I don't know if Tamik's actually going to do anything in this matchup. That Spyglass we drew for the Karn, that was a really big game last last game. Imagine if they were activating Karn all those turns.
I don't really need that. I have Shalai and Lyra. I have faced worse than all Fensa. Still want any more Karns? Farewell, and thank you for the lesson. No more Karns. We haven't seen a Nugan yet. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a Nugan though. We haven't seen one yet. The next turn we'll have Resplendent plus Honor Guard. Ugh. Yuck. Your course will make an excellent. Oh, I do love a good death way. I've learned much from your death. Well, Leon's going to be able to draw a lot of cards. Oh no, they do have a new gun. Do not defy the designs of an elder dragon. All right, well, looking really bad for us. We could draw land Bathe in ghost fire. Huh. It's kind of surprising. I'm, I'm not going to keep it again because that doesn't help this. But we need land, immortal sun. <laughs> Rise and shine. Okay, okay. Death leaves. Time to go. Beyond vision. Yeah, I guess some people are having trouble with Deckmaster. So yeah, maybe bugged. Yeah. I scribed my card at the top. I don't know why they're not Field of Ruin in here, but I'm happy about it. They shouldn't have cast down. They did the whole disfigure thing, so. <clears throat> Probably don't have cast down. Oh, that's why they didn't feel the room, because they want to get back Golos. Thankfully, we put. Honor Guard back in play, so Helm, Helm of the Host Chupacabra doesn't hurt us. It's going to be pretty tough for us to win. It's pretty tough to win this. Could use Lyra Dawnbringer. That would help. Yeah, Lyra Dawnbringer would be nice.
Still me taking lethal here. What? <laughs> oh, man. Arena just, like, randomly closes, like, whenever we're taking lethal. So, like, the opponent thinks that, like, I'm... I'm, like, rage quitting. <laughs> That's not ide ideal. It's, like, the worst time to... Get that. Come on, Arena. What is going on over here? Can I just concede? Poor opponent. Timeout used? Uh. I know, Arena is BMing for me. I don't know if it's because, like, the update today or something. Wow. What awful timing for that. Well, this is too bad. Ugh, this is too bad. But we lost the mono black control. Which, no, nothing wrong with that. I like some mono black control. Alright, so we just saw, we heard the... Like the head blow up like it's like the match is over. I don't have the the wheel up here anymore to if I want to just try to reset it, I guess I may have to alt F4. <clears throat> I I didn't alt F4 mid match, it like it like shut down. Let me try restarting. All right, so yeah, now not now I'm not in a match, so I join again. Well, that was weird. Cause I knew something weird was gonna happen because, like, on my other monitor, like a a thing popped up, like. Like it's updating kind of thing, like Arena was updating, like it popped up and I was like, what is that? And then it just closed out of Arena. Alright, let's get a couple lands. There's land. We've got our green white deck over here. Legion's End would defeat us.
So I'd, I feel like we're just going to have to try to fly over some zombies. So we're going to get the flyers in play. We can kind of see this this deck that we're playing was was okay a few sets ago, but or like it was pretty good then, but the power level of standard has gone up a good amount. Oh no, I don't want to attack with Tithe Taker. Ugh. Oh well. I would certainly trade like the all four of the cards on the left for lands. I mean, heck, even just all five. If if there was a button of, hey, would you like to trade your entire hand for lands? I would have done that. Wow, Rejuvenator missed? Because, I mean, if we have six lands and we could start activating Resplendent Angel, like, we could maybe race this, but... Really, we need, like, two more lands and then Lyra. We could definitely race... It then. Um. I don't think I have a favorite card that's been spoiled so far. I couldn't. The best one looks to be the Royal Scions. That's the best card that I've seen so far. There hasn't been... I mean, this, this is just over. I mean, I can play a creature, but we take 10 damage. Not racing or anything. There hasn't really been too much that looks, like, real powerful. Or any card that really stands out as something that I'm like, ooh, man, I can't wait to play that card. What's the new commander mechanic? I don't know what that is. What's that? So yeah, Field of Dead's going to be tough. We have our four Field of Ruin. That's kind of about it. Yeah, I'm not playing Bishop of Wings because it's not a very good card. Hmm. I don't really want any of these cards. I guess a two two tie taker just because they're cheap. Bishop of Wings isn't really good against anybody except for Mono Red, unfortunately. We need more lands again. This is not more lands.
We need to draw land, 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 back to back to back. And then we have a shot. One for one. Or one for three. Here we go. Let's make it two for three, three for three. Every opportunity. Your light will cleave the darkness. Alright, come on, deck. Two more, two more. We could do this. We just need a land. And then a land. All right, we're doing it. Share in my light. All right, now all we need is a land. We're two for three. No, I haven't played Brawl in Arena. What's up, Hercules? Thanks for getting us that sub luck. Definitely in now with that sub luck there. Oh, that's that's number nine. I was I was behind one. Sub luck and the best possible land as well. I will lend you my strength. Best possible land. Thanks, Salty Hercules. Oh, yeah. Yep, always like putting out some hype boats for subscribers. Show some love. Yep, just like we planned. I'm thinking this honor guard is shutting my opponent down because they've looked at it a couple of times. Yep. All right, we need to have that same curve. Honor guard, Gideon, Shalai, Lyra. That can happen, right? That can happen again. Why not? Why not? The card's the card is gilded goose, not golden goose. It's gilded goose. Gilded goose. Ugh. Well, Tithe Taker is maybe my worst card in my deck. Ketra is definitely too slow there. We have the lands, though. So, like, if we need to curve Honor Guard, Gideon, Shalai, Lyra, we need five lands. So we have the lands part. All we have to do is draw... Like, should we keep this and then just, hope, like, turn two, draw Honor Guard, then draw Gideon, then draw Shalai, then draw Lyra? Does that sound like a plan? I mean, it's a plan. No, that's a very good plan. Probably not a very good plan. All right, we'll keep this. Let's get rid of... History or Gideon? Gideon?
History is slow, but like, but like history. Whenever you're pumping them up with Johnny, though, they're like really big vigilance creatures. And then like the history plays good defense. I think I should have got rid of a Johnny. I don't think I want history without a Johnny. Because, yeah, history without a Johnny just making two 2-2s two against the zombie deck. That's I'm not interested in that. But I could see going Gideon and Johnny. But, yeah, Gideon doesn't block. And it's already pretty aggressive. Should I feel to ruin this gateway plaza? No, nah, I should probably take out Field of the Dead. Uh, so they scried to the top. So do I mess up their scry to the top? No, we just play History into a Johnny. So I can go a Johnny minus and bring back Honor Guard. Or I can Field of Ruin and get back Honor Guard. I'm gonna Field of Ruin, destroy this Field of the Dead. And then Field of Ruin and then just play Honor Guard. Maybe they don't have any more basics in their deck. Even though they're a Securitas route deck. That doesn't make much sense, but maybe. No goalless for you. No goalless for you. Our deck's kind of doing its thing. What? I'm playing a... I'm playing like a... white mid-range deck with a bunch of like... average cards. Gotta unmoored Ego in this matchup. Alright, thanks. Just wasting a turn and... Pay three mana, discard a card. Alright, good old three mana, discard a card. Our kinship and see in yourself what I see. So yeah, I want to keep on pumping up these knights. You know, the bigger they are, the more zombies they can take down, the better. Yeah, Narnana had more more W's than L's today. He's going pretty good. Not better than yesterday. We have another uh, Ferocid on deck that we're playing up next. Uh, I guess I should pump this up. You are capable of more than you are so that gets to attack through a 2-2. Two -two. I guess we should pump it up once. It does force them to block. I 
No more Golos. Good old Honor Guard Field of Ruin combo. Honor Guard. Shut him down. Oh my gosh. Well, we won because they had two complete nonsense cards. No, I think the Kalia deck is stronger. Or like if you wanna like which deck is better, I think Kalia the Kalia deck's better than this one, but it's fun to play. Name Shalai. All right, two and one. Yeah, if we were able to ultimate a Johnny, we would have had cats versus zombies. I'm glad we cut the history. The history was good. <laughs> you like the toad load screen? Kind of funny. Toad load screen. Steamkin. No, these Field of Ruins. Colorless lands. Need to draw another White Source so I can play Resplendent and have God's Willing up. But we're, we finally found the red deck. Let's see if they have Ferocidon or not. Finally found the red deck. Yeah, I have Caesar. Long long ago, but I have. Been a few years. Oh, I thought they were skewering the 1-1. One, one. Okay. So I th think I want to... Uh, yeah, I think, I think we need a waited turn before we play Resplendent. I don't know why they didn't add mana with Steamkin first. Yeah, could have just done that first and got another counter on the Steamkin already. Now, now it could have been at four. They could have added three more mana. Okay, yeah, I, I hadn't heard of that, Matthew. The Dark Dark Crystal series? Netflix, I hadn't heard of that one. Alright, so this is like... You know, like, we play Lyra next turn, and then if we untap with Lyra, then Ajani can start pumping them up. 
But I guess if we already on top with Lyra, we're probably doing okay at that point. So let's, in case we don't, you know, like look for like another Lyra or another Angel or something in case we don't untap with them. So I save two life by blocking Pyromancer. No, let's block Steamkin. Why are they not using Steamkin? Because they still could. We'll need to use that card more. Opponent could have definitely won this with like having that lightning strike. They could have, and you know, they could have like attacked all lightning strike, whatever I block. It's over now, though. Over now. That was close. I think my opponent could have won that game. Okay. Oh, okay. That does sound pretty interesting. Down to 17. Yeah, we're doing best of three. All right, Devout Decrees, Baffling End, Binding, Prison Realm, Cleansing Nova. This is good against Viachino Pyromancer. All right, so if we take out a, maybe we're supposed to take out a Johnny. Take out Tamik. Take out. The Tithe Takers like we're fine. The, oh, the Gideons go. Maybe I'll play a Johnny instead of History. Hmm. Well, Johnny's pretty slow. All right, here we go. Take out Oketra. Nah, here we go. Yeah, I'm putting in Cleansing Nova as a Wrath because <clears throat> I can I can definitely be behind. 
Um, while I do have like some really good valuable creatures, I don't have just as many creatures as they do. Can also use Cleansing Nova to destroy Frenzy, which you know that that could be a thing. Um, it's also slow though. My favorite tribe. Hmm. All right, favorite tribe. Well, Golgari, those are colors, but like tribes. It's definitely a. I definitely have a favorite tribe, but what is it? <laughs> yeah, Chandra, the Chandra tribal deck. All right, I have to look up some tribes here. So let's see, what do we have? Zombies, vampires, dragons. Dragons are cool. Goblins, wizards, elves, slivers, angels, dinosaurs, merfolks, cats. Ooh, probably cats. Eldrazi, warrior, elemental, human, spirit, ally, pirate. Wall, hydra, soldier, demon, sphinx, knight. All right, looking for land so we can Binding Frenzy. Snake, Bird, Scapeshifter, God, Werewolf, Cleric, Minotaur, Rat, Bear. Bear's a good tribe. Bear's a good one. Tree Folk, Druid, Dwarf, Spider, Fungus, Fairy. Rogue, Giant, Scarecrow, Beast, Samurai, Mirror, Insect, Wolf. Wolf's another good one. Anyone need a match? Shaman, no. Rebel, Too Ninja, bad. Worm, Monk, Ooze, Griffin. There are so many tribes. Kithkin, Avatar, Horror, Assassin, Elephant, How Artificer, Skeleton, Spectre, Atog. Phoenix, Archer, Golem, Shade, Hound, Advisor. How are they just conceding? Fox? Fox is a good one. Illusion, Construct, Core, Crab, Ogre, Gorgon. If you're watching this on YouTube, let me know which one of these is your favorite tribe. In the comments. Horse, Orc, Kavu, Mercenary, Centaur, Spell Shaper, Boar. Did I say that one? Elder, Rhino, Devil, Plant, Naga, Jinn, Barbarian, Moonfolk, Fish, and Frog. Rhino Tribal? Oh yeah, Shape Shifter. I think I said Scape Shifter. <laughs> Alright, so... I mean, so I, I, kind of, I guess I like the regular animal tribes, like your bear and your cat and your fox. And your hound. All right, I like this curve. Tithe Taker, History of Johnny. Yeah, dragons are pretty cool. Oh no, is it, are we finally facing a Ferocidon deck? 
I got rid of Shalai. No. Give me. I need Shalai back. <laughs> yeah. Cat, yeah, cats don't have too many good cards for Commander. They they did have, like, that pre-con cat deck that has the best ones that, like, care about, like, equipment and stuff, but it's still not great. Get that five mana frenzy out of here. I guess I could go. The gods bless us in our righteous cause. I believe in you. I guess we have lifelink tithe taker, I guess. Steamkin has a new animation. Looking at a new animation, Steamkin has one. We stand together. Look how far you've come. I believe in you, friend. Oh, we had the we had the six one five Gideon there just a little bit ago. It's it's at six one five. Hey, Duriel. Uh, I don't I don't know what new announcements you're referring to. Like the new the new set. Uh, just two. You can take two hits. Curse yeah, Steamkin's got new animations. Ugh. Didn't get the land. Because, yeah, playing Dawnbringer and then putting a counter on Dawnbringer immediately. Yeah, everything's good. Yeah, new new stuff is good. I like new set. I haven't seen the new trailer. Yeah, see, yeah, Steamkin's got that animation now. New set trailer confirms Shrek Five. There you go. Good, Matthew. That's good. We have a backup Ajani, anyway. One point off of lethal. I will lend you my strength. One mana off of lethal. Also, so yeah, if we had one more mana, yeah, you know, we could give the Tithe Taker Pro Red and a Johnny pump it up, but. We'll just keep it like this. Dogs are barking at something. I will fight on. It's probably a deer in the yard. It's usually deer in the yard at night, so I guess one may have came a little too close to the door and the dogs saw the deer and start barking. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we got this one. I 
I'm sorry. I must go. Yep, I have two dogs. Puppy and Harvey. That I can bring Puppy on stream. Puppy joins stream sometimes. But they stay in the living room because Hawkeye's scared of the dog, so this is like Hawkeye's room in here. Uh, Harvey's a little, little too big to bring in. Yeah, it's because I've been lazy, 619. I know, we need a puppy emote. I need a email emote making person about making a puppy emote. So I could God's Willing for lethal or Baffling End for lethal, and I think it's more... Like, if I want to show them one card, I'd rather show them Baffling End than show them God's Willing. I don't want them to be thinking, oh, I should play around God's Willing or something like that. <laughs> Dogs are just firm cats. <laughs> All right, we're facing the red decks. That's what we want to see. All right, maybe we won't actually bring in Cleansing Nova. We did that last time, but maybe we don't need to. So Gideon out, two Ajani out, but we saw it. Ajani looked really good there. Johnny, good when you're winning. What else did we cut? I thought we did, oh, I cut the Tameek. Yeah, Tameek just dies to a burn spell. I mean, so does Honor Guard, I suppose. All right, well, I'll go get Puppy, since y'all want to see Puppy. Go get Puppy. Hey puppy. This is puppy. All right, we're gonna need to draw spells to play in between, like into Lyra, but hopefully we do. Say hi, puppy. Yeah, on the Discord channel, we have the room for for pets in the Discord channel. We put pictures of puppy and Harvey and Hawkeye, and of course, a lot of other people put there pictures of their pets on there. So yeah, if you're not if you're not on the Discord channel, well you should join it. If you are, you can definitely the, the pets channel. Puppers. He's such a good dog. Her name's Puppy because she was uh this was whenever I lived in Texas I lived like just out like in the in the country. And they have Chandra Spitfire. And one day I was, you know, left, was going to work, go out to my, my porch, you know, go to my car. And just laying there on the, on the porch was just this little puppy. And it was just, um, you yeah, know, like puppy was just like so small, she could like fit it into my hands. And I was just, I was just like, oh, look at this little puppy. And I just kind of named her puppy. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be keeping her or not. You know, or... But... Um, you know, or if there was... I worked, you know, as a teacher, so if there's any... You know, if there was, like, a student that really wanted a puppy or anything. Um, but... There wasn't really, and... I kept her, and she's been amazing, and... Her name's Puppy. Puppy. All right, we need to do better, puppy. We died very quickly there. But I think it's a good name for a dog anyway. It's fun to say. 
Yeah, you, know, you have pup for short. And puppers. Yep, sure is, Kendis. Because you have the third slot right now, right, Kendis? That's that's the only one I have right now. It's just, yeah, the third slot. So, yeah, if you want the fourth slot also, it's open. Cool. This hand is, like, just as slow as last time. Why'd I keep it? I don't know. Because I'm just petting the, petting the puppy. All right, so Wake says that they've been running the Grixis Shadow deck to help you out with and for best of three. Went 5-0 yesterday on your stream and 5-0 again. That is awesome. Good job. I didn't know you streamed the Wake. Cool. I'll have to check out, I'll have to check out your stream. But yeah, good job. Two five O's, awesome. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I have both of my both of my dogs, Harvey. Harvey was also a straight. Like, they're both. Uh, do I want to play God Eternal Oketra next turn? I want to play a Johnny. I think I'd rather play a Johnny. Thanks, Candice. Alright, you'll have Saturday, fourth slot. Um. Yeah, Harvey was just a, a straight dog who was really skinny. You could. You could definitely tell that Harvey had previous owners and everything, but she knew how to like act around people and everything. Um, and then I had her first, and then Puppy. Showed up after I had Harvey. And so I, I wasn't sure if, if you know, Harvey, like an older dog, would get along with, with Puppy or not and, and everything, but they got along really well, and yeah, really glad to have both, both of them. Yeah, I named Harvey after Harvey Specter from the show Suits. Together. No more burn. We're probably not looking at burn spells right now. Darn. Strength is born of struggle. You must succeed where I have failed. All right, looks like I should have kept, kept Oketra. I was pretty loose putting that to the bottom anyway. My favorite TV series... Um, I know, it's either Psych um, with Sean and Gus or White Collar. So those, those are like my two favorites. Yeah, I can't activate Field of Ruin. You have to be able to destroy a non-basic land. You can't activate Field of Ruin unless your opponent has a non-basic land. Um, Well, we're scrying some lands to the bottom. Yeah, Psych was so good. 
Yeah, those are both USA shows. But yeah, I also like Suits. Um, another US, USA show I really liked was Monk. Oh yeah, Lo Love just said I liked Monk better. So yeah, I, I liked Psych more, but I liked Monk too. Uh, West Wing was really good. Like, Burn Notice. Burn Notice was good. Yeah, Keiji got us a Burn Notice. Yeah, that was good. That was a really good show. Oh, really? That That is really cool to serve. Because, yeah, that's right. Suits, yeah, that's right. Suits uh, shot there in Toronto. So, yeah, you get to see that while you're downtown there. You get to see them shooting. That's really cool. So many lands. Your your favorite was House. Okay, I never I never watched House. I, don't know, I guess we trade. So many lands. Our opponents had four lands. We've had like forty. So that's eight. Plus we have these two down here. Yeah. gonna be bad for you oh, come on puppy we what are we doing over here Ugh, give me some puppy luck what's that smell oh it's you burning yeah, Chandra is awesome in a board like this. But we got a bunch of Ixalan's Bindings. Another Prison Realm. Alright, that's a good draw. We have enough mana to activate Resplendent Angel. <laughs> Whenever we play it. What's up, Ham? Hamtaro, with the sub. Let's get some hype in the chat for our new subscriber. Thank you so much there, Ham. Hamtaro. Hey, that's it's our sub goal. All right, we got our first sub goal today. That's our second sub goal hit since our 12 hour stream. So we'll mark that down. Splash. So I think I have to hit Chandra, right? So they don't ultimate Chandra. Wow, everybody's getting the high boats. That's a, love it. That's the most people with high boats I think I've ever seen. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just have to hit Chandra. Can't let them ultimate. Did you say it across the sun? Puppy's so camera shy. She's like always jumping around, bouncing around everything, but like here, I think it's cause like in this, like she never gets to be in this room. So she like feels like she's in trouble or something being in here. But I can't, I can't even like get her to like be this still like in the living room at all. It's like the most still she is. And watch it burn. What did they cast? What just happened? What did they tap that two mana for? Was it lava coil? But then my oh, I had the four four angel. Okay, they killed that four four angel. Okay, I was like, I still have my two creatures. I was like, what happened? Oh, 
found me. Yeah. It's over when I say it's over. Again, we're still gonna have lethal with the other angels up top. So just taking out Chandra helps us. I guess I could have attacked them for one, maybe there. I don't know, I like having the honor guard back. Their frenzy is finally doing a whole lot of stuff here. This is where we need the cleansing nova. Puppy's like, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. Hey, gamer box. Thanks for the resub. Thank you so much there, gamer box. All right, that's sub number 11 on the day. Alright puppy, well thanks for coming and helping out, but it looks like the red deck got us. Experimental Frenzy, heck of a card. The devil has one now too. Alright, that's lethal. Alright, let's kill puppy. All right, too many lands for us. Yeah, probably. I think I think Oketra probably would have won. So yeah, that was I think that was the big mistake I made that game was getting rid of the Oketra. Even though like I wanted to play a Johnny the next turn, I still could have just played a Johnny the next turn and then had Oketra as backup for if they had Fry for a Johnny and Burn spells for my knights, which you know they had which that's what they had. They had burn spells for the knights and then fry for a Johnny. And then uh, and then I didn't have anything. After that Oketra, it was just so many lands. And so we did not get there. But yeah, definitely a good game. That was a, that was a good match. Good match. We had three good games there. Okay. Um, so, no, so we went 2-2. Two, two with mono white angels uh we saw just kind of overall our decks a little underpowered compared to some of the top decks in the format but we had some some good stuff honor guard was was pretty impressive field of ruin was really good against 
that uh, Field of the Dead deck, but you know, Resplendent, Shalai, and Lyra can still steal games, and that's what they did. Stole some games for us. Um, yeah. All right, so that's Mono White Angels. So if you are watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, and uh, feel free to leave a comment. And we talked about like maybe like what's your favorite tribe. Um, so I went through like the whole list of tribes and and everything there. Um, but thank you so much for watching Mono White Angels, and I'll see you for the next video.